Hello, hello, everyone. Pin this comment. Uh, come on. Uh, God. There we go. All right, you guys, um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Russell. I am an agent with Envy Models out of the LA and Las Vegas office doing 20 questions um, with different people from the, in the industry that just connecting with everybody, with models and actors, just so you guys can hear their perspective, their point of views. I know a lot of people are doing live, so I think you guys are just jumping in. Um, David Anthony, he is a photographer based here in Los Angeles, and we've had the pleasure of working with him quite a few times in the past. And he is requesting, so we're going to go ahead and add him in. I'm just going to do some Q and A's with him. Feel free to comment some questions if you have them. As many as we can. We will be saving this for later into our IG stories as well as saving it to um, our IGTV. And there he is. Hello. Hi. How, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. So how's your day going today? Good. A little nerve-wracking, but it's been going great. I've been keeping productive. So it's and it's my off day, so I don't go back to work till Monday. So oh, good. 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 Sunday, good. actually. Sorry. So glad you're able to squeeze this in for this. <laughs> yes. All righty. So like I just told everybody, we're just gonna go over some questions, some Q and A's, and. Um, just kind of get through them and people are going to be commenting questions on the bottom and as we get to them we'll try and get to all of them as possible um so the first question is what made you become a photographer and what was your first camera that you used to start shooting with that was pretty much when i went to santa monica college i had financial aid so it was like going towards my little edu tuition anyways yeah. So I needed an elective course, and Photo One was available. So I decided <laughs> to use that money and get a camera and just learn how to do uh, photography. I got. I ended up getting a C in the class. Okay. All the information that I learned kind of synced in. So I'm like, let me see what I could do with this. I wanted uh -huh. to do graphic design as like my main major, and then photography as my minor, so it could go like hand in hand. But I was so confused on campus. I'm like getting the proper classes, I took a lot of art classes instead. I almost got an AA degree on that. Uh -huh. so I'm like, uh, I don't know. I was like all over the place. But that, but the very first camera that I got was a Canon Rebel XS and shot with that. So that was like my very first time doing it. Do you still have it? I, I gave it to my cousin, which she lives like four houses down the way. Oh, OK, OK. All right, so the next question is, who are some of the photographers that you look up to for inspiration? I look up to one of them is Terry Richardson. The other would be uh, Nigel Barker, Mike Ruiz, and Tony Duran. Okay, hold on a second. Let me get these people. Oh, it didn't work quite how I wanted to. So this is Nigel Barker, his website. Um, you guys can definitely check him out. I'm sure everybody knows who he is. Go to his Instagram and kind of check him out. And then the next one you said was Mike Ruiz? Mike Ruiz, yeah. OK. What is it about his work that inspires you? Mm -hmm. All the models that he worked with, even of America's Next Time Models, just very pure high fashion, a little bit of vibrancy, too. And he does like a lot of art, especially in the studio. Uh -huh. So that was kind of like drew me in with him. And he just does a lot of like celebrity shoots that I've been wanting to do as well. So hopefully easing my way up there. Right. I actually right. have his number too. Do like, you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was my teacher gave it uh, my teacher told me to reach out when I went to the art institute in Hollywood, Rose Cephalou told me to reach out to Mike Ruiz and kinda like exchange I guess you could net I, we networked a little bit and he said when he comes down when he comes down from NYC to LA, I'll be happy to shoot with him and help him out. Intern. Okay. 
And then just going back, um, Nigel Barker, what is it about him that you love about his work? He does a lot of motion with his pictures recently now, but back then, again, I love the high fashion look, especially when he does a lot of on location shoots uh -huh. and studio because on uh -huh. location is just how he does it is very very high fashion and very editorial which i need to do more outdoors because i'm in in between because i used to i miss the studio so i had like more control right my lighting. but being outside is fun <laughs> too okay. i miss it but i just wish now i could do more high fashion stuff outdoors okay and then the last one what was his name again tony duran tony Duran. So this is where I pretty much focus more on the male models too, how he does everything with them, especially with black and white. I hardly mm -hmm. do a lot of black and white photos, but how he does it, it is very, very his style. He has his own little unique style. And I believe the lens that he uses a lot is just his regular kit lens that he just got mm -hmm. from the camera and use that from throughout the whole thing. Okay. Nice, nice. So then the next question I have, um, who are some of your current muse um, as a model? Current, current, current and past, honestly, it would be, um, I worked with Eric Orner. He's one of the models, very first Wilhelmina model that I shot. So this was back in 2017 or 18 that I got to shoot with him. And then from, from there on out, we built a, great friendship and then i've been using him ever since on like little projects i need to do for school or a specific editorial that i'm gonna do or anything that would build his portfolio for wilhelmina okay so i've been using him ever since oh uh, you still shoot with him still now yeah i actually hit him up to do a virtual photo shoot <laughs> <laughs> and he's down for it so he's back nice. <laughs> All right, so can you tell me um, a little bit about your experiences in the past? Like, have you had any, like, bad experiences with clients or models or hair or makeup, someone from your team? Like, if you don't want to share names, like, what, what was and how did you handle that? Um, I never had a bad experience. I always like to have fun in the studio. That just turns me off. <laughs> you keep, know? You're keeping it rated G. <laughs> no, I never had a bad experience ever. Thank God, and I don't want to encounter that either. Right. I don't really want to encounter that because I would right. immediately probably shut everything off. <laughs> right. So you did bring up the point about shooting male models. So um, your a lot of your 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 content in your portfolio is driven more towards male models. Is there what what is it about the male models that you shoot with them more versus women? I feel like they were a bit more easier just to start off with because I feel mm -hmm. like you didn't need that much. To be on set. It's honestly simple, simplicity is the way to go for the male models. Very simple stuff. I'll let it say shit. I'll let it cut, but you know. Um, I just like the features, their face, yeah. features, everything about them. And I could do so much with them, too. As for, I hardly shoot women, but now I do. Right. I was pretty much looking out. For my girls, I'm like, shit, I know they might be thinking, like, is there going to be hair and makeup on set? <laughs> style? Right. So I'm like, oh, I'm like, I don't have that yet. So right. I just put a pause on them. And right. now since I know makeup artists and stylists, now I have all the girls on board and I've been making their photos look fierce. <laughs> right. Gotcha. So, okay. Um... And how's your scouting process? Like, how do you how do you scout? Like, when you're on the streets, or you're at the beach, or at work? Like, how, what's what's your process when you're scouting? Um, oh, I suck at scouting outdoors. So <laughs> the internet was my like my best friend. I'm so shy up front. I'm like, I don't have that confidence level yet. Not yet. Wouldn't I wouldn't have the balls to go up to people like I have to sh let me shoot you, like. I don't know, <laughs> something, not yet. So the internet was my best friend. Started off so, on, yo, go ahead. So have you, have you, you have scouted though before though, yes? Uh, probably like, 
Not really, just through the internet, honestly. Oh. <laughs> like, not outdoors. You need to get out there. Yes. I know. I think for me as an agent, the best way for like me when I'm like scouting is honestly like I show them my Instagram so they know that I'm not like a creep or anything. Mm -hmm. You know, I exchange Instagrams, you know, exchange DMs, things like that. Just get a, like a little bit of a light approach. But yeah, definitely should get out there. <laughs> <It's better breaking. laughs> <laughs> well, whatever, I gotta break my show anyways. Yeah. I, I started off on Model Mayhem. So that mm -hmm. was when I shot my very first few models ever. First one was an actor. That was pretty fun. Then switched over to Facebook because they have all these pages with models who are down to like collaborate and do a tray for print photo shoots. Then I switched over to Instagram and I was getting way better models like that and just by reaching out sending them direct messages like hey we should shoot sometime and just patiently wait or whatever sometimes mm -hmm. I have to, sometimes they just hit up my agent so that was more of a nerve-wracking part too i'm like shit okay now i have to hit up the damn agency <laughs> i had to like do my research i'm like how can i do this very short and straight to the point i had to like look up i'm like because i suck at writing emails a little bit i write how I talk, if that makes sense, like, yeah. right now. So all I did was took one email. And now I've been reaching out to agencies through email and networking through like that, the word of mouth goes a long way. So yeah, I have fun with it. So right. emails. Uh, Tell me what is one of the um, things that turns you off about a model or a actor or a talent that approaches you to do issue you know is it, whether it be their etiquette whether it be like the way they're wording things in their emails or through their dms like Honestly, what turns you off that makes you just kind of like not want to shoot that model or actor having a bad attitude on set honestly if you're having a bad day leave that at home because mm -hmm. i work with a group of people who love to have fun and play loud music and then get everything going but <laughs> i guess straight out tell when the vibe is a little bit bad so that's mm -hmm. what i don't want on site it's just mm -hmm. snotty like bad attitude models or divas i don't want to encounter okay. that either hey. <laughs> um let's see the next one i have okay we did chat about this a little bit studio versus location because before you shot a lot of location then you set up your studio and now it's mm -hmm. heavy driven with a lot of studio yeah studio i missed a lot but ever since i went to the art institute in hollywood school i would have to shoot a lot of outdoors we would have the studios in school but it was very rare that we do little lighting but i hardly was at school i was too busy working both jobs so i was doing a lot of online courses so that was a little mm -hmm. bit different but in the studio no one's around models, hair, makeup, stylist, again, loud music. We have a lot of fun in the studio. As for location, it gets a little bit repetitive because I've been going to like the same spots over and over. And it's, I would have to literally go out and like kind of like scout around for like a new location to do that. And I didn't really do that much, again, high fashion for on location because I didn't really have a team now that I do I have to go do more outdoor stuff because lately studio kids a little bit boring depending on what type of concept we're doing but right love it I love both <laughs> <laughs> but if I were to do my editorials then I would have to go back outside okay and do crazy stuff uh the next one I have is you obviously just like you and I dialogue in the past about your availability. You travel a lot. So how is that process when you travel from different markets to different cities? Is your approach any different? Uh, it's mostly the same. I send out emails to agencies like, hey, I'm going to be in town if you have any models. I would actually do my research first to see what type of modeling agencies are out there in different states. The most fun state that I've been to was Florida. So I went three times as, yeah, because <laughs> I had so much fun. And me, I love vibrant 
colors. I love anything tropical. I love swimwear. Swimwear and florals. So spring and summer is pretty much my time to shine because everyone needs color <laughs> in yeah. their portfolio. Not too much, but now I'm like kind of calming it down. Um, what would you be? Where is somewhere you want to go to shoot for your like your next travel destination? Like, what do you, where do you have your eye on? Your you're trying to get to. Uh, my eye on next is Chicago. I need to go down there. There's mm. Wilhelmina out there. There's Ford, and I'm pretty sure there's other agencies that I have to look up. But I have a lot of contact with Wilhelmina, so I'm pretty sure they'll send me models. Right. That stuff, but Chicago will be like my next my next stop. Okay. Um. Let's see. Social media is like a really big thing right now, obviously. So like, what's your, who is it that follows you that you're like in shock that they follow you? And like, what is that experience like? Did you reach out to them? Did you like do any dialogue with them? Like, oh my God, I'm a fan. I'm surprised you follow me or, or not. That one, no, but oh, again, it took an email because now I've been shooting a lot of reality stars which is oh. like great and majority of them that i know came out on x on the beach uh -huh. seasons two and three <laughs> seasons two and three and the new one that just actually came out right now too the peak of love so mm -hmm. that one was good and i've been cool ever since they're chill ass people so i'm glad yeah. i got to meet them and little by little i'm shooting the word of mouth goes a long way so they're friends the reality, my friends will hit up their other reality star friends and do the word of mouth, and I just get books like that, and then free stuff come in, comes in. Yeah, oh my God, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, and then we have. Um, oh, this is one I've been wanting to ask you. So you, to me, it feels like, or maybe you're just posting them in that way. You mm -hmm. have a lot of new content coming out that's like been recently published in like 2019 to now in 2020. And then what's that journey like? Which one is like you're like most proud of? Which one is like you were shocked about? Like, hmm. what's that like getting this awesome, this sudden momentum? It's an addiction submitting photos like online for publication <laughs> because I love doing that. <laughs> I love it. My most accomplished would be when I submitted images. This is in December 2019. I submitted to Movier and Gimaro magazine. And in January 24th, both of them released and I got coverage for both. That's because I had a great team on deck, which was my stylist, Estelle. I have I bring her along all the way through all my shoots. Mm -hmm. So Estella Sparango, you should hit her up for any styling. She's great at it. Makeup artist. I have um, Keon on board. I have um, Caitlin, who I just met recently, and I've been having her on my side ever since. Uh, Karche. Karche, I believe, is her name. Or the Shay. Her Instagram is Bu. 89 i believe she was on board so she helped me with those editors that, that happened in december and got covered too and okay. she's like in the industry so she i helped thank god she helped me out yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, um let's see oh, okay you answer kind of the next question um you kind of already answered this one too, but again, just for like the prints versus solids, you you do go for a lot of like prints and a lot of colors and patterns, and you did kind of answer that already. Kind of like you know that's 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 your that's your genre, that's your thing. But mm -hmm. anything else you want to elaborate on that? Like that just pretty much describes my personality on what I like to do, especially with patterns, because I see colors. I do a lot of complementary colors, so I get to look at my um, color wheel and just see what works best. But me, some, I go a little bit too vibrant and, and I look back at my work, I'm like, I have to tone it down a little bit because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what can I say? I love floral, I love patterns. 
but now I'm doing more simple stuff. So I could add at least one pattern to an outfit and the rest could be just solid colors. So I okay. want everybody to draw in on a specific pattern clothing that I am selling to the consumer. And okay. So, you know. All right. Let's see the next one we have. Uh, who on the Envy roster, um, current or past, are have been like your favorite shots? Uh, my three friends. I have uh, Courtney Davidson. I have uh, Sydney and uh, Paul. Okay, so let's talk about Courtney. Courtney in this shot. What was it about this shot that you? I mean, it's it's your it's your taste. It's it's yeah. all the prints. It's all the florals. Um, but. Any backstory behind this shot that you guys did? And why, why is this one out of all that you shot with Courtney is your favorite? This was actually fun because um, a photographer reached out, liked one of my photos because he's um, roommates with the model that I shot for Maverick Agency. Mm -hmm. So I decided to reach out like, hey, if you need any like help, I would be down like to meet up and we'll do like a photo shoot. So I invited like girl models but a few of them canceled except for Courtney. So <laughs> he has his own studio at his house. And he pretty much did like the lighting setup. And he also does a lot of monochrome uh, colors. So this one you can see very different shades of yellow and orange. So he decided mm -hmm. to add everything into like one, you know, monochrome photo. So this was a lot of fun and we just didn't creative ever since he shot Courtney you know as a favorite for me to like you know shoot her as well and use his studio and get to see all his um, friends that I shot <laughs> in the house okay and then Paul was one of your favorites yeah we built a friendship a dope friendship so he's been hitting me up about shoes we go out to bars and drink as well we try to come up with concepts so i keep him around plus he visited my you keep job. him around <laughs> yeah <laughs> i keep him around okay and i know this is a bad photo i get it chopped off but this one was published in Sh shuba 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 yes shuba okay and then the a past model that you like sydney this one actually grew on me. First one I saw it, and I remember when she told me about the concept, I was like, mm, I don't know, but hey, you're shooting with David. <laughs> you're shooting with David. I don't think it's going to go wrong, and you're shooting with, like, Estelle. I think, I think it'll be fine. But I was, like, nervous about seeing it, and then, like I saw it, I was like, oh, creative, different. That was the end of that, because I remember you were asking, like, we need a headshot of you. I'm like... Let's do a headshot because we were already finished and I totally forgot. I'm like, oh my god, Sydney, we need to do a headshot. I totally forgot. So I did that photo, but I'm like, oh shit, the hearts are in her face. That's not a regular like portrait. But <laughs> it got published, and then you sent me that independent management used that photo as her main profile picture on her yes. page. So I was like so excited about. It. I'm like, God, they love it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, I think like for us, like we needed like a new model card for her and we were just kind of going through photos and stuff like that. And I was like, hey, try and get like a nice shot that's going to be able to use for your model card. And then, yeah, the whole independent thing happened and she mm -hmm. went off to there and sent her, sent them all her portfolios, um, all her published stuff. And yeah, they used that first one. So oh, good. Hats off to you. <laughs> what, does it, what, does it, what does it feel like when you see like more than one agency like use your photos like either as the main shot or at least in their portfolio like what's what's that like what's... i feel happy because i feel accomplished like finally like my work is seen on other a lot of agencies um profiles especially with dt model Mal management and Wilhelmina. a lot of my photos are on there and a few of them are on next a few of them are independent all over the place actually you're like can i get a fee for that please <laughs> <laughs> a usage fee like um let's see what do you see your um well, how do you see like the whole photography industry in general like changing after quarantine like do you feel like i don't want to put you on the spot but do you feel like you know extra precautions are going to be taken like like what's your what's your concept what's your thinking with going forward once we're with, out of quarantine with that i 
feel like everything might be back to normal to me. I mean, if if you could take good care of yourself, then I feel like everything will be fine. Still, everyone's going to be very cautious about everyone because everyone's going to be outside. Some will be hella happy and just don't give a fuck. They're like, I'm happy that I'm outside. I'd rather enjoy my summer. You know, I've been stuck mm -hmm. in this house for like almost two months already. Like I deserve to be outside. But to me, I have a lens that's like 24, what, all the way up to 75 millimeters. I'm going to be a distance regardless. So to me, I'm already going to be back in business mm -hmm. and just start shooting. I'll probably be scheduling people way before that. I'm like, hey, we're getting out of quarantine on this day. Who wants to be like <laughs> first model to like shoot and, we're, and we'll go. And then right. I feel like everything will be back to normal. To me, I don't know mm -hmm. how other people feel, but but it's always good to be cautious. All right. All right. Okay. Let's see. And what's the first thing you're going to do outside of quarantine? Is it going to be you going out there shooting or is it you like you got some other plans? It will be me going out shooting and finally take a damn vacation. I was supposed to go to New York on March 20th so all this happened. So that was a bust. Yeah. So I got airline credit, so I need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> they start my work somewhere else, you know? Mm -hmm. But I'll be shooting, most likely. Right. Take, I'll start off with, like, what? Very little bit model to work with. But sometimes I do, like, three shoots in one day. So now I'm just going to do, like, once whenever I get a day off. Right. Kind of like take things slow until things pick up again. Uh -huh. Cautious. Okay. Um, and then what are some of your like long-term, short-term goals that you have? Like what's, how do you really see you taking your photography to, to the next level? Like what, what is it that you're aiming towards? Short-term goal for me is to actually work for a uh, corporate for any like um, fashion apparel store for guests forever 21 fashion nova i've been applying applying to like with everything's going on right now every every job is on hold mm -hmm. i can apply for an Asafia beverly hills for, for a photo retoucher and do just to work and do what i love to do and long term save up enough money because i've been wanting to open my own studio for mm -hmm. anybody so they could rent it out i will have different rooms i will have like i imagine myself already having a grand opening and inviting all my models and agents that i've worked with in the past so everybody could go on in and then get like first dibs on like each room and just start you know creating content okay if that's if that is successful then i would love to open up another brand and just you know Make money to have fun with it. Love to do right. <laughs> right. But you also told me about um, becoming a beauty photographer. Yeah. <laughs> When's that happening? What's your. Pretty soon. Hopefully, with everything calms down, hopefully, faster if everyone stays home. You know, if you have to go work outside, then just go work, work out outside, but just like around the block. But, you know, everyone's different. I can't tell everybody to like. I'm not. God, I mean, no one's going to pay attention. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, just be cautious about it. But um, yeah, I love makeup. My cousin's been using makeup. My mom uses makeup. So I love everything about beauty shots. Now mm -hmm. that I have like my team and my dope makeup artist where I am going to be doing beauty shots, I'll be having another lens soon and need a macro so I could get deep into their skins and then use that throughout my whole um, career journey as well. So beauty will be on my list. Okay, well. nice. And then any advice you have for aspiring photographers that may be watching this now or maybe watching this at a later time? Well, I suggest you just have fun with everything. Be kind to everybody. Have confidence in your work. And, you know, again, just have fun. No need to be rude or anything like that. What I want everyone to do is just have fun on set. Yeah. I can tell you how many models say that, you know, 
set has been a little bit rocky. Other photographers are being like pretty like mean about it. I'm just like, that's really not cool because honestly, the pictures show when the model is like yeah. comfortable. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you just just straight out tell everything like you know about that photo. If you're having yeah. a bad day, just don't bring it to the studio right. or anything on location because the pictures will show. Right. But just have fun and be confident in your work and don't be afraid of rejection. Yeah. Okay. And then the last question I have is where can everybody find you at? On what social media platforms do you use and where can they find you? I use my Instagram a lot for David Anthony photo. And if you guys want to follow my personal account, which is X David Anthony, I pretty much post self portraits of myself, but using Polaroids and just be, and just have fun in my little uh, room. My room is my studio, so all of uh -huh. my content are is in my room. <laughs> you know, and then I have my website. If you guys want to check it out, for davidanthonyphoto.com. Yeah. Hopefully, to okay. work with a lot of new models after this. Yes. You know. <laughs> So a couple of questions we have in the comments. Um, we have a question again. David, how do you feel about modeling um, and photography as a photography statement um, throughout the getting into, but mostly to make a difference and people tend to shy away from seeing modeling? Ooh. Obviously, break off that shyness. Honestly, you have to build confidence in yourself. If you want to try out for modeling, I suggest try it. There's a lot of agencies out there that require, at least for females, 5'10 and a little bit up. But now things have changed. So there's a lot of petite models, too. And you could use that for talent or beauty campaigns. Honestly, it's just com building confidence in yourself. And just don't be afraid to reach out to agencies. Turn in your... Um, your digitals and honestly just be patient and wait. Like I said, just do not be afraid of rejection. At least you could say that you reached out to an agency and you did it, you know, you tried it. So that built yeah. your confidence up and things don't work out then that's totally fine. You could try it again. Nothing hurts. Right. It doesn't hurt to try. Right. No, I think this question is kind of more in like, mm -hmm for political statements, you know, like any any movements, things like that, whether it's about a certain community or anything like that. Like, because like, you don't shoot like that with a political statement, you do it more of like an editorial fashion style, but yeah. for a political reason, like what's your thoughts on that? I would say you go to like, um, reasons on that, I don't know, that was like a little bit difficult because like, <laughs> I don't really like uh, politics like in that way, you know, because I'm just like a little free spirit and just like have fun with it. Mm -hmm. But um, it depends what type of genre you want to do and what type of statement you want to do. Mm -hmm. Like you see like the no hate campaign that photographers do where everyone has the no hate on their sign and then you're making a political statement to stop, you know, anti-bullying for the LGBTQ community and stop being like very brutal to them. You know what I mean? Like that's mm -hmm. a political statement if you want to go that route and just build, you know, your empire off of that. Or to mm -hmm. me, I did a little statement, a little photography statement that I wanted to do a lot of male models in the beginning because mm -hmm. they don't get a lot of attention because the women mm -hmm. dominate the fashion world. Mm -hmm. So you hardly see any guys on there so I can make a statement like, well, guys could do this as well. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of guys that have beauty campaigns too, influencers. Yeah. But on makeup, so I'm like, oh, well, I could be, I could just make a statement, well, if a woman can put on makeup, so can a guy, you know what I mean? And just make a little statement like that, you know? Like, mm -hmm. Let's see. Then I had a question from earlier. Any suggestions for a mature model um, taking the leap into modeling? And from it looks like her um, photo, it's she looked like a very nice mature model. But like, what's what suggestions do you have for a mature model? For a mature model, yeah, to get into modeling and building their portfolio and whatnot. Again, don't be afraid to reach out to agencies because there's some agencies that will accept you if you're mature. Then hey. Go Envy, for it, you know? yes. There you go. And yes. you will accept you. Just turn in your digitals. 
and see that he will have like the final say with the team as well just to you know have an interview mm-hmm. with you but have fun with it have fun with it if you're mature then i say try it out girl try it, it doesn't hurt to try it and so I think those are all the questions that we got from people. Um, oh, what inspires you to be creative? He just made it in time to post that question. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, all right, thank you, David, for your time. Bye. <laughs> oh, he slide that one in real quick. What inspires your creativity? I'm such a visualizer. Like, whatever model I see, whatever package the agency sends me, I definitely choose who I want in the shoot and then I'm such a visualizer I start being creative like in my head the colors I want to use the patterns I want to use the location that I have to that I have to shoot it all depends but I go by season so this is already spring heading to summer so now I am doing like a lot of swimwear and floral stuff very Mm -hmm. vibrant very creative for me because now I use, I even rent out places too, to get the visual that I want to. Right. So it's always about being, um, again, having fun, being creative. And I always study too, especially when I'm like online shopping. I just Mm -hmm. look at the the e-commerce photos and the styling and everything. And I just kind of take notes off of that too. Mm -hmm. So that's like what inspires me, little Mm visualization. Being all creative in my head. Right. Okay. So I think that's all that we have. There's other questions, unless somebody gets ones in. Oh, Austin said Pinterest. Yeah. Pinterest. So, yep. Yeah. Pinterest Austin's too. one of our models, and I, yeah, I I have a lot of boards for everything. When models are like, I need to shoot. I don't know what I should shoot. I'm like. I feel like Pinterest is like real easy, create a nice creative board and be like, this is what you need your book to look like. If you are trying to become a New York model, uh, a a Miami model, or a model that goes overseas. These are kind of the looks that you need to build, yeah. Aspire to get to, yeah. So, all right. So thank you, sir, so much for joining us today for your chat. Thank you for having me. (laughs) Of course, of course. And I'll be in touch with you later. Yes. Okay, bye. Yes. (laughs) Bye, David. (laughs) Bye. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining us in today for this chat with us with David Anthony. We will be saving this to our Instagram story for 24 hours. It will be posted, and then we're going to post it onto our IGTV over the weekend so you guys can always go back and review it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this time. We're going to keep doing this next week on Tuesdays and Thursdays also at 2 p.m. We're going to change it up a little bit. I know this week we have two photographers, but next week we're going to change it up a little bit and actually have some makeup artists with us. I just want to just kind of keep this going and, you know, adding hairstylists and other creative people style, um, that are open to doing these chat with us. Um, so definitely see you guys next week, Tuesday. Stay safe and have a good weekend.